Psychic Vampires by Cherokee Billy Have you ever noticed when you're around certain people, when you leave, you go away totally exhausted and drained? Well, that's a psychic attack. Let's face it, we've probably all fallen prey to a psychic spiritual vampire, possibly without even knowing it. It may have been a chance encounter with an energy predator that left us temporarily exhausted or possibly long-term vampire interaction with serious wear and tear effects on the mind and body, like somebody in an abusive relationship for a long time. Psychic vampirism is alive and flourishing in the world today. I use the term spiritual vampires because they are tapping into your spirit. As consumers of energy rather than blood, vampires of the psychic kind exist in many guises but with one common trait. Their own inadequate energy system compels them to tap into and feed upon the energies of unsuspecting host victims. The immediate results of such a one-on-one -on -one vampire encounter are anew but temporary surge of energy for the psychic vampire and a serious loss of mental and physical energy for the unsuspecting prey. If you suddenly feel emotionally or mentally depleted, you may be under attack by a psychic vampire. The unfortunate effects of prolonged energy loss are damage to the energy system itself and in some instances serious illness. As consumers of energy rather than blood, psychic vampires, like their folklore counterparts, can be men or women, young or old, they can be tween, teens, or adults, they can be professionals in business suits, wealthy dot commers, dapper CEOs, ultra groovy rock stars, or construction workers in hard hats. They can be a business associate, next-door neighbor, neighbor, or even a family member. When a psychic attack takes place, the psychic vampire receives an energy surge while the victim experiences fatigue. Here are the traits of a psychic vampire. Their personality experiences feelings of abandonment or rejection. They need constant reassurance. They never feel satisfied. They seek nurturing, low energy, and fatigued. Each of us has a psychic vampire tendency that sometimes needs to be put into check. Symptoms of psychic attack. A diminishing aura, dizziness, loss of energy, muscle tension, mental confusion, headaches, chronic fatigue, sleep disturbances, irritability, depressed mood, physical illness. It is not unusual for a person who is ill or feeling inadequate emotionally to draw upon or deplete energized individuals of their life force. These suckers are not bad people. Most of them are not aware on a conscious level that they are doing what they are doing. Still, their unknowing actions can play havoc with anyone who leaves an energetic opening for this type of thievery. It is important for us to be aware that we may be susceptible to having our energy stolen from us and learn ways to protect ourselves. The harm in a psychic attack is that there is no fair exchange of energy and therefore one feels depleted while the other becomes energized. Protection against psychic attack. First and foremost is awareness. Become aware of which individuals deplete your energy and limit your contact with them. Invoke the white light of the divine. Visualize a bubble of white light surrounding your auric spiritual field. Call upon angels to surround and protect you. 
Here are some energy shields. Carry protective amulets. An amulet is a charm symbolizing good luck or protection or possessing healing properties. They can be crystals, seashells, clay figures, fur, feather, stone or wood carvings, a cross, feathers, jewels. Whenever you feel an energy drain, picture the white light filling you up with energy and revitalizing your spirit, body, and soul. Be aware of energy drain and immediately protect yourself. One thing I have found, being a psychic, that I require constant protection from spiritual attacks. I always surround myself with God's white light when I work because I'm dealing with many different spirits that are attached to the people I am speaking with. Most people are totally unaware that there are spirits, vampires, attached to them. For protection, I wear my father's wedding ring on a chain around my neck, as well as his army dog tags for protection. In most religions, the leaders have on jewelry because they understand its value of protection. If you become aware that there are more things involved in our world than what we can see, you will understand the need to pay attention to psychic vampires and spirits that inhabit this planet. Use protection every day and see if you don't start feeling better and having a happier life. May you be protected and blessed. Cherokee Billy. For further help and information, you can contact me at 866-563-3997 or go to my website www.cherokeebilly.com. Thank you. Good night.